As we all do know, by protocol, there are a few things that we normally do when we come together as a family, and that is committing everything we're doing here into the hands of the Lord. To help us do this this afternoon, I'd like to welcome to the microphone Reverend Dr. Jacob Tetekwashi, who is one of the aides in the Gamanches Court. Shall we welcome him with applause? Thank you very much, Max. Please, let's bow our eyes for a word of prayer. We will not be able to do this. 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 Amen. You Reverend Dr. Jacob Tetekwashi Oyilado, you find any how to award the honor letter? Then you want to watch Solie work at Nichumon on the issue by channel. You make us follow. Then you find you like a care waba, you walk with a care. You walk with, you walk with you. You soon create a co. Yeah, gamanche manche way. Eh, walk and you more no, you don't need walk a shoes. She akene ba ke oye boy kume ke ona nyume kume hu ni ifagbe ke jamanse ni ikume hu kwe wo ke jamanse iwo be ke won ya no wo ba bo wo himo won den koni wo ke blofu e hu afutu mi koni ame hu amenye amenu amenu no ni wo yu oshi koni wo ke wo ame hi wale ni amenya ame kase ngan wi mo le ame fita e ja ke ga weku ele eji weku agbo Yo be dani wo ba cha ni chumo no ma smo ma je wonu pa ikuma ibo ma hanye e be je ya me fe shi ni wo ya no ba ko ko ni ma je wonu pa ikuma ibo ma hanye be ke iba gamanche eni chumo be no ni blofo ba ke administration day to day administration ke ni chulo e ke me ni ba na mba ko ni chumo ye e manche we wo ye wo ma minu pa ko ni le eko mo fe mo no ewo be wo fe ni wo ye obi e o fe keke nye ya nye hi e be wo te wo hi e keke wo ya wo be ku e be wo te wo wo be ku keke ni ni juro le hu e be ni ni juro i'd like to acknowledge the presence of the chief of staff of the gamanches palace justice julia ajay amwa please put your hands together I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of the Director of Events and Related Matters uh, in the Gamanches Court. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Madame Koko Amatefiu. I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of the initiator of the idea of celebrating Homo War in the UK. Um, Everything that has to do with this year's celebration of this great festival is her brainchild together with the rest of the team. And she is the lead on this project. Manye Na Chuchu Soyu the second. As we go along, I'll continue to acknowledge the presence of uh, some of our, our guests and our persons who are joining us for this news conference to our door to the rest of the world the starting process or the build up to this year's Homo War Festival in the UK, one which has a historic touch. We're streaming live on some platforms. I'll be acknowledging them as we go along, but would like to say ahead of time, a very big thank you to all of our friends from respective media houses who are giving us massive support for this launch of Homo War 2024. Dani waba cha wani chumo no. Wani wanyi enu kuye biye ne ni le hon be adafitra ni chumo ne no jino ni chumo. Shibe da ne ke waba kwe 
Ladies and gentlemen, to give us a poetry performance to start off this launch, I'd like to welcome up here the one and only Ni Kwade in Tre. I can't hear the applause. Let's go. For it. We've got many poets in the country. We pay our respects to them. And one of the things that I admire about Ni Kwade in Tre is the fact that he has specialized in Ga and Gadangbe poetry. And this is something that is a point of pride for every Gadangbe in every part of the world. Once again, I present to you Ni Kwade in Tre. O pense, o pense, wanya wanya nye mwe akba nweji jo pense. O pense, wanya wanya nye mwe akba nweji jo. O pense, o konipa, pense akwe tokulu, pense ta ya piaje. Wanya wanya nye mwe akba nweji jo pense. O pense, wanya wanya nye mwe akba nweji jo. Ameke ti ablochi ye, eke nuko ba. Gameke, takita ywa ti ablochi ye, eke nuko ba. Oh, game naka ame yo. Game, naka eno ame yo. Shi mwe, bako ablochi ya e hiyan. Bako e hi e hiyan. Ble makwe. Ake lele badi na woye biye. Shi mene gake dangwe ke le wu e shi tonto ja. E teke bele. Ka ya ablo chi ki adi na ngle shi. E jake. E bi ni yo ngle shi ke ame nou. Me kple e mba. Me wo nou ke e min chile e ame nou e mba. No ke ngon ye shi ya. Aba ha ame. E ku ye jeme. E wo ni ita ki teko chuli jie nyo. Sa fle kompo. E shi e kata manso. Ni ke kwe e hiye. Ke kwe e se. E ke adan mwye fe. Amen tu ablochi. Na miya ka ma ke. Ble ma ko mo nye ba. Nye ba shi shi wo. Wo wo ba ke shi mo. Wo mba ke min se. Lo wo bi ni yo nye ngo. Amen na. Nye nyan. Wo gan. Ke adan mwye fe. Ba ya ablochi. Amen ya ka wanyan kwa. Amen ya ke min se. Amen ya ke sun fe mo. Amen ya ke di le. Ko di jen fe, ana ali a ke. Gan, e kwa ki mama papa. E bu e ko o e. Ble man ko bana le le. Je, na ka e don. Wo e kwa e nan de. E fa e nan de. Ni e bi, ke e nabi, ke e shwe yine. Ka ya blo chi ye. Amen na, nye nyan. Amen na se a kwa mwa a ke na. A ke si bwa mwa e fe e wo e. O nye a blo chi ya a mwa. A pa a shiyan. Nye nye bi a ka se galwe mwa. What's it? I make my care work. Worry me, worry me. Shame you a gun. No offense, what I mean, she. What better people care more? What better people care more? She should have gone. Tread up for one big gas as I can money. What fair one wet chain you? And have a funny bagger. Cha! In my yabba. I check what you mean. In Peggy, new party. Chame kenyeme, nyefana nyeha watu awadi akbu waha ni kwa de ukre. Wimo ingon ni keji awini akebote chile ke ngewo numimpe be ingon, ingon iteke. Nyefana nyeha watu awadi akbu waha le. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good friends and loved ones were bringing you the live coverage of Homo War UK 2024 from the courts of the Gamanches Palace here in Accra. We're grateful and glad that all of you are joining us from various parts of the world and are taking a decision ahead of time to join us in London for the celebration of this great festival, which goes to address a very major need in our lives or in humanity. 
At this time, we'll carry on and bring you more, but at this time, we'd like to once again say a very big welcome to all of our friends who have joined us here, especially to every single media house giving us uh, massive support for the rollout of this uh, launch, which will start the build-up officially to the launch of Homo War or the, the execution of Homo War 2024 in the United Kingdom. At this time, I'd like to welcome up here the lead for the organizing team to let us into it. But before we get into all of those details, it's my pleasure to bring here the head and the director of events for uh, the government chair, Madame Koko Amate Fium, to officially work with us. Shall we put our hands together? For you? Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, distinguished guests, all protocol observed. On behalf of HRM, His Royal Majesty Kintaki Teko II, I wish to welcome all of you. I wish to welcome our friends here from the UK. I wish to welcome our friends and family here from Switzerland. I wish to welcome our friends and family from the US. And I wish to welcome all of you who are sitting at home and watching this live, and all of those who are going to converge to London in October to be part of this Homo War. It's always been the wish of our boss, His uh, Royal Majesty, to unite the Gadangwe family, no matter where they are. We started with those here, and now we are joining hands with those out there because together we are able to lift ourselves up from poverty, from hunger, from illiteracy. And that is why we are here. Again, I welcome you and I thank you so much for coming and being with us. And now, to tell you what is going to happen in England, I cannot tell you. We have people here who can tell you better than I do. So thank you very much again for being here. We're very grateful to you, Madame Koko Amate Fiu. Madame Amate Oko Amate Fiu, also known as Auntie Oko Amate Fiu. Please put your hands together for her. Well, just like athleticism, we do realize that many people eventually end up uh, by their aliases or uh, other informal names that we all refer to them by. And I believe that Auntie Amati Oko is following in that uh, space. Let's also, do, let's also remember very well that she is a very big functionary when it comes to classical music and its evolution here in Ghana. And she runs some of the most successful orchestras and choirs uh, in Ghana in uh, recent history, in the last uh, 20 to 30 years. Shall we do a big round of applause for her one more time? Chameke nyemeke, nyemeke smoloi. Be heni wake ni chumo eshe obas moni agbene wokwe ni wofitu ni biyami ni wole bona yale ke boni kusume ba yale eha ye abluchi ni ji UK kupano. Be tumo boni wanye eke wo gafeche ni ji king taki te kuchu ni ji nyo. Eji no koni ka echu no wa ake ibas mo ni gadangbe we kwe fe aba ni gadangbe we kwe fe afe ekume. Ni wakwe wa hiye, ni wafe wa ya wa hiye. Koni, ni chumwa eke, ni bi ni eke nime e hiye, wanye wafe wa chaya, ni wafe wa ke suomo, ke eko mi fimo, aya wa hiye. Ni wanye wake wa wabi, ke wanabi, koni wa gadangwe, e edamoshi, ni edamoshi juba. Ni wabe yenugwe na, e chwa efaishi, ake afine, e basmo ni e fonini, eke che, manche me, Wa manye me, ke wa wikume, ke wa nye me, ke wa bi, ke wa na bi, ni befa, e ba ame, e shwe, he kume. Alo, e ba ame, e shwe, he soto, e soto, ye jile me. Kuna ame fen, ame ba, 
ni wona aba pe yeah, united kingdom ni ji uk ko ni wonye wo chu ne ke ni chu mo ne ni wo fe ne ke ko mo ko sun ne ne fe fe o ni fe gbe na wo ke nuko hun me wo hie a ke ni wo fe wo ba ni wo mbo ba fe eko me eh eh hia a ke wo ke nuko hun an me wo hie ko ni ke wo gbe ne ke ni chu mo ne na wo le a ke ni wo gbe omo wo 2024 na eneke eneji no ni wo nye wo so ye no ni eneke eneji no ni wo ke me wo hie ni wo ba anye wo fe mi ni wo ba anye wo chu ni wo ke sa wo gama ni wo ke sa wo gadangbe ma ko ni wo fe wo nye wo fe eko me ni no ya aba gadangbe ma yo benye fa na he ni wo ke ni chu mo ise wo ba asumo wo che wo nupa e eko me ko ni le hu bi mo ni kan shin ni e ke ba no shin ladies and gentlemen at this time uh, it's a good time for us to get into the details of Homo 2024 in the United Kingdom and um, all other activities that will make up this grand celebration, which has a very historic twist. Before that, however, I would like to acknowledge the presence of the family of the late Abu Lamanye, who is a one of our very own. Uh, shall we put our hands together for them? Our hearts go out to you and uh, do know that King Taki Taikotru and his inner court, his elders, the chief priest and all are with you in spirit and will continue to support you uh, to ensure that the Abu Lamanye, the late Abu Lamanye is giving a fitting burial because they are all part of the very big setup here in the Gap traditional area. Ladies and gentlemen, Friends from the media, at this time, I'd like to welcome up here the lead on the project. I'm talking about Homo UK 2024 to address us and give us perspective to this big celebration. Manye na chocho soyo the second. Thank you very much. That's uh, what I go. Manchang no bo o coloni, o say a glashin, a sunny oka five pamo aba. A wa antikoko, ke chief of staff, china magbe. Um, media, thank you very much for coming. I would like to start by acknowledging and thanking His Majesty for allowing us to use the premises for this press conference. And also, obviously, he's coming to the UK is a historical event, and so to thank him for agreeing to attend. I'd also like to acknowledge my UK team. They've been working incredibly hard, and they're watching us, and I would like to say I equal to them and to thank them. Um, and also the guard team, who have been working equally as hard. Everything you see here has been their doing, so thank you all for accommodating this and, and for doing such a wonderful job. Um, acknowledging the Trio Bridge Foundation, my partners in crime, they're actually, um, we have Mr. George Latte and the team here, they're actually helping to um, organize elements of um, the event in the UK, and I'll come to that in a moment. And then I would like to acknowledge uh, the, Ghana, the UK High Commission to Ghana and the High Commissioner they're partner, partnering with us to um, facilitate the event and attendance of it. Also, the Ghana High Commission in the UK, uh, to the UK and Ireland, for their support in facilitating, again, again, the travel and some of the logistics around it. I'd also like to acknowledge the UN team uh, in the form of UNESCO, um, who are partnering with us as well and I'm sure they're here to support, so thank you. Now, um, I would start by saying, as I said earlier, that this is a historical event. This would be the first time ever that a sitting Gamanche would join us in the UK to celebrate Homo War. 
And to put it in context, we've been doing this since 2010. And so I'm sure most people are excited and I am incredibly excited for this to be happening at this time. What's going to happen? So Homo War itself kicks off on the 26th of October. We are going to have the event at uh, the old Greenwich Town Hall, which is Borough Hall in Greenwich. It's a very popular landmark. It's a 500 plus capacity. And so we expect to be at capacity and overflow in anticipation of His Majesty's attendance. Um, 20, we expect the team to arrive by the 24th of October where we will have a, a team on standby to receive His Majesty and everybody else that um, he's coming with. On the 26th, we'll celebrate Homo War, and we tend to replicate what happens in Ghana as much as possible in terms of tradition, in terms of culture. But Homo War, um, according to His Majesty's mission, is assuming a more purposeful approach so normally we celebrate Homo War and it's a telling of the story of our sojourn from what I believe to be Egypt, um, the exodus, the famine, and you know, Hutinatanga. But we want to align it to a purpose. And for the first time under the leadership of His Majesty, what we're doing is aligning it to the Sustainable Development Goal 2, which is ending uh, hunger. And this is where the UN comes in. We're working closely with UNESCO to ensure that we can align it to the Sustainable Development Goal 2 and have an approach where we initiate projects uh, to help alleviate hunger in Ghana and also work with the UK government in that regard. And so assuming a purpose means that we expand the scope of Homo War. It's no longer just a cultural celebration. It's going to be a celebration that has an identity. We also want to tell um, the world that Ghana does not have a homogeneous cultural identity. Often when we hear of festivals, it has one dimension and that's okay because we're all Ghanaians. But we want to tell the story of Homo War in a way that resonates to people the spirituality of it, the tradition of it, but also the purpose of it. And that's why we're organizing this event. Additionally, we would be hosting other fringe events um, on, in honor of His Majesty. On the 27th, which is the day after Homo War, there would be a Gadangme Fellowship church service, Thanksgiving church service, and His Majesty will be the special guest of honor at that event. And then, for on the 29th of October, we are hosting a business forum at the house, the UK House of Lords. Now, again, this is history. This would be the first time that a sitting Gamanje has entered the House of Lords, but also to facilitate um, a business forum and engage in inviting inward investment to the Gas State. We want to tell the Gas story in a positive way. And so we'll have the weight of the UK biz big business and the weight of Ghanaian big business who would attend. And we have five key areas within which we want to target. On the 3rd of November, we would be hosting a national, the Christian Council UK will be hosting a national Thanksgiving service in um, His Majesty's honor. Again, we expect a really good turnout, and that includes denominations um, across, Christian denominations across the UK, both Ghanaian and internationally. We would also, on the 7th of November, be hosting, um, we would also host a Ngawala, the Saturday after the uh, Homo War. That would be the second. Ngawala brings together the Gadangme community in the UK to interact with His Majesty and the chiefs and, and queen mothers will be attending um, his entire retinue. So we'll do that. And um, on the 5th of November, we are going to host a private reception for about 150 people in the UK Parliament, so the House of Commons, 
Uh, the Lords is, you know, separate from the Commons, so we'll be hosting a private reception in UK Parliament on behalf of His Majesty. He would have the opportunity to interact with the Ghanaian community um, leadership and also African leadership, and hopefully some um, good outcomes will uh, arise out of that interaction. He will be hosted then by the leadership of the Ahmadiyya community on the 7th of November. That is incredibly significant because in terms of education, um, first of all, the Ahmadi community in Accra referred to His Majesty as their landlord, which he is. But also in terms of education, they do very well. If you are familiar with the Ahmadi community, you would know that most of the, some of the best scholars um, are part of the religion. And so they'll be hosting His Majesty where a discussion um, around mutual interests, a discussion around his peace campaign, um, calling for peace for the elections, as well as in general, will be had. But also they will tease out mutual beneficial interests, I suppose mostly around education. It is anticipated then that after that we would have um, some social events. Uh, I wouldn't go too much into that. We'll have a couple of days of social events, sightseeing, um, people doing shopping, etc. Part of the team will leave a lot earlier. Not every member that's traveling with His Majesty will be part of all these events. So around between the 29th and the 30th, most of the team will return. And the core group of people will then carry on for uh, the Lord's event and then the um, Commons event and also the Ahmadiyya event. So in a nutshell, um, this, is, this is what the plan is. I want again to thank the team in the UK. We have been meeting nonstop every week, twice a week. And it has been up to the task. And I would like to, again, especially thank them and to thank the media. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. But before we go, let me acknowledge my family who came here to support me too. <laughs> thank you so much. They are always with me in whatever I do. But yes, do you have any questions? And I'd be happy to answer them. My name is Kofi uh, Adam from Kofi TV and Angel Evangelist. I want to first of all uh, thank the team for this wonderful initiative. Yes, I understand this is not the first time, but taking it to this level, uh, that is very commendable. Uh, my second is a question. Is it a free event? Because I'm getting some call from the UK, especially from the Ghana community. Uh, some of them want to attend the same process around you and want to know whether it is a free event. Because going through the program, I understand some will be strictly by invitation. But is there a day that will be open for all and how is that going? Thank you, Coffee TV. And I have to say, Coffee TV is one of our media partners. So I'm I'm grateful and thank you for participating and thank you for the question. Um, Homowa itself isn't, strictly speaking, a free event because it's a full dinner. And um, But if you want to have information about what the elements of costings is, we have about four different uh, cost levels so everybody can participate. And you rightly pointed out the other events are strictly by invitation, but they're free. Those are free but they're strictly by invitation. Um, you may go to our website, which is www.grandhomawaruk.com for more information about um, the event. We are hoping to change the dynamics slightly, but I, I don't want to preempt anything and, and um, not manage expectations by saying too much, but watch the space um, and hopefully everyone can participate. So thank you for that question. Once again, to all of our friends who are joining us, uh, we're glad that you are still with us. We are in the final leg of the news conference to launch Homo World UK 2024, which will have a historic set, which will have a historic twist in the sense that for the very first time, uh, Ga Manche will be headlining the event and will also be driving the narrative 
of bringing our collective energies together as a Gadangwe people to properly hoot hunger away or hoot at hunger, which is the essence or the cultural significance of the Homowo festival of old, which the Gadangwe people are identified with. Now, Manye Na uh, Chocho Soyu has also indicated that uh, the Gamanches focus in driving the narrative and bringing our collective energies together is to ensure that we are aligning with the Sustainable Development Goal 2, which clearly goes to focus on zero hunger, or which aims at a world which will have zero hunger. And so this year, the focus is bringing resources together to ensure that projects that are being pursued by the Gamanche and his foundation and his office will go towards um, you know, addressing some of these issues, ensuring that we're taking our children off the streets into our schools and ensuring that we're giving them a good future through education and also ensuring that um, a lot of the incidents of, of, of poverty, which is not helping some of our mothers and our fathers who are into entrepreneurship, will all be a thing of the past. That is what makes this a unique celebration. And the Gamanche is asking us to extend his invitation to all of our friends who are in different parts of the world, um, most of them in terms of proximity coming from different parts of the UK, Ireland, uh, Scotland and Wales, and all those within the heart of London to come and join so that we celebrate this together and have that focus, join in seeing that vision that he is seeing for the Gadangwe people. Also, um, it has been outlined and we're going to share the elaborate program with you. Uh, the Gamanche will be engaged in different interactions aside the celebration proper, which is on the 26th of October. He will be hosted by uh, the House of Lords. He'll be hosted by the House of Commons and also the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission, which has its headquarters in London. There will also be a Thanksgiving service which will be done. And then after that, some time will be given for the team which is traveling from here to uh, have uh, tourism experiences, after which everything will be brought to an end. And so we're glad and grateful that all of you made it this afternoon. Uh, thank you all very much for the support. At this time, we'd also like to say a very big thank you to some key supporters and sponsors with whose um, efforts we are hopefully going to realize a very, very successful uh, celebration of the Homowo Festival. Uh, you do realize that uh, projects such as these require a lot of resources uh, from logistics through to liquid resources and human resource as well. And so uh, the Gamanches office and uh, the leadership are also very much aware of that and are grateful to everyone for ensuring that we're all doing this together. At the end of the day, it's the common purpose and the common goal that we all want to achieve. So we're grateful to every sponsor, especially uh, the Magdan group, uh, Dr. Daniel McCauley and his Magdan group, who are a major supporter for this. We're also grateful to the office of the um, UK High Commission in Accra, um, the, the British High Commissioner to Ghana, her Excellency uh, Harriet Thompson and her team for collaborating with uh, the Gamanches team in achieving uh, a few other things, uh, doing a lot in terms of collaboration and looking forward to uh, bigger collaborations in the future in terms of marrying our respective goals and the respective visions so that we can make impact on the people uh, in uh, the, the Gadangwe uh, traditional areas. So once again, we're grateful to all of these partners and to you, our friends from the media, every single uh, media outfit here, uh, we're very grateful to all of you. Uh, sending these messages to the relevant places around the world is very crucial. And we do appreciate the valuable airtime that you're giving uh, to this. would also like to say a big thank you to our friends at the Multimedia Group. The Multimedia Group also have uh, accepted to support this uh, course. As we go along, we will be duly acknowledging and as we go along and as we build up to the uh, celebration proper, we will be acknowledging uh, support uh, 
in different kinds and forms that is coming or that will come in from uh, different entities, different individuals, and different organizations to ensure the successful celebration of this. And you make a small way, be what you be saying, you be a name, you all ask me what for no fair no cuckoo. But no fair now, you be a jacket, be a fine, homo war, new or your, a g no coni, no co, no co fair fell co fit, a jacket, a be be nehu, a low, prima be cone hue, watch a me come eti, a mehu, a menye, a mea fatahi, a mea ye ye, ni a ye homo war, she be a fine, a nigger dienche. E finally, be care what ye, ya, kuna mea quet, ni achuni, na fe kusu, and if he fell. She moe, jay ake, ta flache be a yakeke. Be ya na ya, a yen no kuni kawa ye, a lo ye no kamoku, a lo nitumo crede kuna bachu, keji aba, na ba tashini, iba tashini, a ye homo war, a lo achuna kakusu, a ye uke, ni nujiake, be woke, one yen make, one yen 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 United Nations, a lo UNESCO. Waka men chaya, you waka men chakwa, koni wakwe, koni wa wa je homo, keje washi lemi, e jake, ye kusuna nuji noni homo wa ba ni iba kwe, i wa kake homo wa be a wa homo yi, i wa be wa nichu mumi, ke kusu eli wa achu mi isani waha ni wano fe no fe mumi, alo wa ni wa ye mumi, ke wano fe no fe mumi, wa ba kwe, kuni wa ke chuna ka nichu mo, kuni wana. Ake what jie homo keje wate ye gadangwe upa no. Iwa be nye fenye yuradon wa nupa eke e kui ni ameke amehi wale iba ni ameke bafata wahe. Alo ameke nchiwa yise kuni wanye wo chun neke ni chumone ni ji homo wo UK 2024 ame fen ame yuradon. Iwa be ni wo ya ni wo ba ane fen wo ba asmo ni wo cha ame be ni wo ba flame ye bimi be akpa eja ke be Boni balene sani wakwe kuni mofe moaya e e adafitra he kuni nichu mo akeng mekwano ahawo iwa benye fe nye yuradon eh ini wake she wabasko wache wanye niji justice julia na yale aje amwa kuni lehu yimo ifuo no kukwe alo yimo ni ji oni fuo no kuni ekeba ni ekeba ngoshi nyefa nanya wotra wote mwa Good afternoon, distinguished guests and members of the press. A lot has been said, so I don't have to say much. Thank, thank God we have a very eloquent MC and he makes sure he says everything, leaves nothing to be said. But what I'm going to say is, I want to acknowledge once again the initiator of this program, Soyu. She has done a yeoman's job. Even the conceptualizing the project is a lot. And I want us to give her a, a, a standing ovation. Yes. A standing ovation to Soyu. Toto. <laughs> so you is the one I know. Because this is not an easy project. And what we are hearing today, it took a long time to come up with it. So so you thank you very much. And you have heard from Nat that this is not just an ordinary homo war. It's a homo war to end hunger in, in line with the SDGs to the UN. And also the, the, the AU 2063 agenda of socioeconomic inclusive to end uh, hunger yeah. yes. of development. So everything is put together. And th we thank His Royal Majesty, Kintaki Tekutu, for holding this up and agreeing to work with it, because this is a man with a vision. And you heard about his um, foundation. And if you know about the foundation, part of the foundation is really to make sure that the Gadangwe people, we end hunger and we develop and we also move along with the sustainable development goals. So, so you thank you very much. And we are all looking forward for a successful program. And it is not going to be easy, but with our support and our prayers, we are going to make it. And on the 12th of November, His Royal Majesty will return with a lot of bags and with good news. So thank you very much. So you chocolate, chocolate, yes. Thank you all very much. Uh, yes. And now 
the, uh, the SOYO is going to acknowledge some of our sponsors. After that, we'll hold hands and formally launch the Grand Home Award UK 2024. Acknowledge our sponsors. So we, um, we have contacted uh, a team of people who will form part of the business team that goes with His Majesty. And I would like to acknowledge um, Exim Bank, APSA Ghana, CBG Bank, uh, bear with me, I have a, a very active uh, phone, and SNIT, GRA, ADB Bank, Graphic Corporation, Core Construction, and Oswald Investment, also SIC Life, Engineers and Planners, Springfield Energy, and some uh, Jonah Capital. Once again, and, and Magdan Group. Magdan Group have been incredibly supportive, so I want to give a special men mention to them. Once again, to thank the UNESCO team, um, the, our media partners, Royal TV, and all of you that are here, Bonu, Kofi TV, etc. We thank you so much. Um, I would also like to thank, in terms of support, Trailbridge Foundation again, who are working with us. And once again, my team, thank you so much. I'm incredibly proud of your achievements so far. Thank you. And so now, on behalf of His Royal Majesty King Takite Kuchru and all the partners, we hold hands together and we formally launch the Grand UK Home Award 2024. It is hereby launched. Yeah. Okay, no. Traditional foods are yet in starch and carbohydrates. It will move a brain. But true green food, yes, starch and carbohydrates, you know, and your kids will be in a womb. And you're very healthy. A woman who buy free, you are able to say diabetes, kidney failure, cholesterol, hypertension, cancer, and then you can come home. True green food, or more breakfast options, to say cocoa, Tom Brown, oatmeal, and then you can come home. True green food. Oh yes, our um, products now are hundred percent organic and are natural. So we have the only thing we are delivering our baby our baby. Me did the yam yam techua and maybe I'm discovering for you. Papa, come and for our Ghana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee, mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Oh, to your she. Me discover how you map him. Tap tap. Send in TNA. Also, download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's just take a couple of busy and forward Ghana for name. Tap Tap Send. Papa, no, no. Hello, love. Gary, do you have mommy's parcel for her big day? The shipping company says it will take one month. A month? Ah, Gary, use Rapid. Rapid? Rapid courier ships from the United States to Ghana and nine other African countries within three to five days. Log on to rapidgroup.com, buy, ship to us, and we deliver right to your doorstep. That fast? Yes, that's Rapid for you. Can you sign this? I thought you only ordered Mami's parcel. No, I ordered a few Ooh. car parts too. Are you too busy to shop? We will shop for you. Rapid also has a luggage delivery service so you can make that extra luggage and we will deliver at the lowest rate. Rapid Courier, just shop. We deliver. Enjoy. African market, and I'm Papa. African market, order four. So, blonde, ha. Now, open African market, Papa Padja, Makuma to Yemudia. Malata African market, at Demusronko. Smoke fish, meat, dry fish, so pekinki, rice, yam, fufu flour, and in Yania would do a free Africa. Afe, you want to my Papa Pa, Boy Rekenti, Adamasi Kenti, and Yania would do, and in Yoma Debris. Now, open your Malata African market. Sushi a chia coin, and your number, I was screening. So, Malata African market, African market, Mooking Kong. Malata African market, and I'm Papa. African market, and to my Papa. Malata African market. 
At Diaspora Insurance, we understand the importance of dignified send-offs within Ghanaian culture and traditions. We also understand that you want to avoid the double trauma of your family grieving and not having the financial support to cover funeral expenses when you're not around. With our Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan, you can now cover yourself or your family in Ghana or abroad. With no medicals required, we'll accept you if you are under 75 years. Visit our website today or call us to complete a simple form in under five minutes. With Diaspora Insurance, your peace.